Rampur Asaba, which would like to present here, it's finished in Indian red wine cars. First time in the history. I think you have a sample of Asaba. Yes, I do. Slightly smaller, but thank you so much for sending me this. (laughs) Hey everyone, welcome back to the Discover series with the Whiskey Advisor. I'm Uday Balaji. So we've been on a bit of a sabbatical lately, but today we're back with a bang. We're going to be discovering all things Rampur with AVP at Radico Kaitan, Kunal Madan. Hey Kunal, how are you doing? Hi Oday, thanks for having me here. Uh, So sabbatical, I don't think so it's a sabbatical. We keep on seeing your stuff all over Instagram and YouTube. (laughs) Absolute pleasure to have you. I've been looking forward to doing this for a while. And guys, we have something quite exciting today uh, on the episode as well. Uh, But before we jump into it, I'd like to ask you, as always, to please like, subscribe and hit the little bell so you know every time we have a new video. Uh, So Kunal, what are you drinking today? Oh, I've just poured myself Rampur double cask. Oh, lovely. Um, That's what I have as well. Uh, Thank you for sending me the bottle. All right. Pleasure is all mine. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So, Kunal, uh, of all the people who have been on uh, the Discover series, we seem to have the most similar backgrounds. So, you know, engineering in electronics and an MBA, and then now in the whiskey industry. So, I'd love to know more about your journey so far. Engineering was to make my folks happy. They were happy that, you know, uh, the guy can stand in life now, finally. And um, MBA happened. And then, obviously, I uh, had to join an electronics company, which I did, uh, selling uh, LEDs and air conditioners, and etc. But trust me, after I joined this whiskey industry, selling to those retailers and talking about some discounts, some pricing, and here selling whiskey and making people happy and making people high was way better any day. (laughs) Well, it's definitely a step up and I can uh, Mm -hmm. attest to that as well. All right, so it's time for something a little fun now, Kunal. Are you ready for the rapid fire round? Oh, I'm scared. Okay, up for it. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so first question, what is your first whiskey? Okay, goes way back, which my father introduced a long time back. Glenn Fiddick, single malt, 12 years old. Oh, wow. It's but, the same for me, but it was my grandfather. <laughs> wow. Till date, yeah. till now, we're going same. Engineering, MBA, first whiskey. I know. Grandfather versus father now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what is your favorite bar in the whole world? Yeah, trust me. It's a, one of the, my favorite bars is in Australia, Sydney, apparently. Uh, it's called Baxter's Inn. It's kind of a speakeasy bar. Uh, you have a barber shop uh, as you enter it. Uh, there's a grooming, hair grooming and styling going on. And then there's a back door towards a fine, nice boutique bar. It's amazing. Oh, wow. So I'm going to make a list of all these bars that uh, the brand ambassadors on the series tell me about, you know, because there's quite a list building right now. Uh, look out for that, guys. All right. So the next one, what's your favorite food? Okay, I love uh, Indian food, fan of it. So my favorite food, top on the list is tandoori Indian t- chicken tikka and um, followed by butter chicken, followed by rajma jawal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite sport? Ah, not many people can relate to me with that. Um, I'm actually, I was an avid cricketer growing in my growing years. So I played, represented Delhi and oh, wow. uh, played for my school team. I used to bat one down. So that was it. <laughs> oh, lovely. I mean, I used to play cricket, but definitely not for any major teams. And But I couldn't bat to save my life. I was a bowler. <laughs> and one more thing. I used to feel at the boundary and used to dive to make girls happy or impressed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Is it cats or dogs for you? <laughs> uh, actually, none. Yeah, all right. Books or music? Music. Beaches or mountains? 200% beaches. Oh, lovely. Uh, coffee or tea? Tea. Batman or Superman? 
I was a Batman fan, but my kid made me a Superman fan now. <laughs> all right. And just to close out, what's your favorite whiskey memory of all time? No, this is quite uh, close to my heart. You know, uh, s- selling uh, and discussing about whiskey and uh, wearing the uh, making the Indian flag proud and uh, holding it up high. and uh, selling it in um, uh, in uk the the heartland of whiskies and um, and and a, a, a guy is paying that much money for that 10 ml ram it gives you a, a big kick and now wearing rampur proudly and i just got a great got my initials done also here mm-hmm. so all these small small things go great memories and great kick wonderful wonderful that kind of you know uh, takes us into my next question because uh, rampur might be fairly uh, new but uh, radico kaitan has been around for many a year and it's a really a storied distillery with a lot of storied uh, products as well so could you just tell us about the history of radico as well as uh, how rampur came to be yeah sure why not uh, so yes you're right uh, radico kaitan was actually established in 1943 in pre independence um, era uh, we were majorly into production of uh, raw alcohol um, in the 80s we started with our contessa rum production and our first imfl brand 8 pm was launched in 1998 and this was the first whisky which was blended with uh, grain and malts and uh, entered into limca book of records because it did 1 million cases in the first year of its launch itself uh followed by our flagship brands like uh, magic moments vodka and uh, various uh, plotra and the whiskies in 2016 when we sat together a master blender thought that you know um, this is the actual correct time to launch a single malt then the brain child of rampur was conceptualized and delivered to the world and in 2016 to be precise in april in las vegas we launched first expression mm-hmm. rampur uh, indian single malt the select cask mhm so i didn't know the launch was in las vegas that must have been quite the party right there <laughs> <laughs> wonderful but uh, you know a uh, little while back during this lockdown actually i attended one of your uh, virtual tastings which is how it's going these days yeah. uh, and one thing that really uh, that i took away from it was uh, the usp of uh, rampur you know because something that i kept hearing was the indianness of it uh, could you just tell us a little more about that and because it seems to truly uh, be a passion for you great question of the you know actually the uh, correct way you said is usp you know we it's an indian single malt and we always wanted to retain the indian character to it so uh, if you see uh, rampur is actually uh, situated in the tarai region at the foothills of himalayas what do you mean by tarai region it's 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 where the water is available so we use the underground uh, himalayan water um we use the six row indian barley from northern india which has got more protein and sweetness to it um yeah then the indian weather conditions in rampur as you all know that uh, it's northern part of india we don't experience one season two uh, two seasons we actually experience five seasons uh, be it the harsh summers in the summers be it the winters be uh, it the uh, for the humidity it's monsoons then spring autumn so we pass through all those seasons and the liquid also passes through that and the contraction uh, of the wood happens a lot and that by all everybody knows that the angel shares are pretty 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 high in india because the angels are super greedy thanks to our climatic conditions mm-hmm. having said that with all this indian conditions indian barley and um, uh, the himalayan waters Rampur Select was the first expression which we launched, and we retain that Indianness. We are proud of that, and uh, followed by um, uh, Rampur. Then we uh, Rampur Single Malt Select Cask. We then launched the Sherry PX Cask, which was again to retain the sole character of Rampur, and still give that 
you know differentiating factor from the select cars because we aged the same malt for another eight, sorry the finish i'm sorry i'm finished the same malt for another 8 months in sherry pedro hemenex px cars mm-hmm. so uh, uh, that sweety that floral character you know it reminds you of uh, uh, tropical exotic fruits and and that in that uh, you, you can pictureize india when you sip it and drink it Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I can I can just uh, uh, vouch for it that whenever you drink uh, uh, our whiskies, you will definitely you will definitely find that surprise element come on coming from the other person, and the surprise is a pleasant surprise. They mm-hmm. love it. They like it. Why? Because they don't relate. They never used to relate India to such fine single malts. Now it's like. It's, it's it's accepted it's well accepted and it's gaining grounds mm-hmm. you know uh, my pleasant surprise was uh, at the pot still in glasgow uh, so at the time uh, rampur was not available in india so i was in scotland and i saw it at uh, this iconic bar and then uh, the bartender uh, poured me a dram and she's like you know this tastes like lychees and ever since then it's that lychee note that sticks with me uh, you know whenever i have a rampur which is a select at its very heart you know and i believe that's a lychee growing region as well there uh, yep. but could you take us a little through uh, the rest of the range also you spoke briefly about the px which is also the double cask and i believe we have something special today as well yeah okay fine so yeah. so you are actually right you know um, as i told you in, um, earlier also it gives you that sense of tropical fruits and absolutely right particular lychees and it's a subjective taste but some people say apricots too but more on lychee uh, px is more intense it's kind of a, a whiskey which you can uh, enjoy after a good hard meal uh, this is uh, px for you followed by the sherry px uh, launch we introduced to the world one of the oldest malt out of india rampur indian single malt signature reserve celebrating 75 years of rampur distillery uh only 400 bottles available over there worldwide uh out of which 355 already sold um retailing at a price of $1500 in us right now um why one of the oldest malt out of india because it was being aged since the inception of the malt distillery uh and i would say it's an absolutely liquid gold when you taste it uh There's, there's sorry there's a snapshot of the bottle behind me uh, mm-hmm. just to have a look for you and just a teaser for you um amazing gram and uh, it's 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 something we are kind of very proud of as an in indian mm-hmm. and then we have double cask which we are actually uh, sipping today mm-hmm. so if you see double cask is uh why the name double cask because two third of its life um, it was matured in first fill american bourbon cask then one third of its life in sherry oloroso cask mm-hmm. so it takes uh, the best part of both the worlds and um, it's 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 more rounded it, it's more delicate uh, whiskey again it's sweety it's it's floral it's 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 that character of rampur is still there um when you when you swirl around the tongue you can feel those uh, fruitiness and tropicalness mm-hmm. but it's more easy to drink it's it's, yeah. it's 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 delicate whiskey um uh, you know we travel around the world and uh, we get different kind of uh, feedbacks for select uh, once we were in um, scotland somebody told me it's like my breakfast whiskey it's okay. very fruity mm-hmm. it's it's very sweet so i can pour it over my porridge and drink it along with it <laughs> i said wow then uh, we happened to taste px they said oh it's my desert whiskey uh, that was one of the gentlemen in australia said i can finish my desert and have it with it so and uh, double cask it's kind of an everyday whiskey it's so delicate it's so nice now much more exciting thing much more um, uh, uh, much more towards indianness as we spoke we just happened to launch um, rampur asava which would like to present here um, mm-hmm. this is if you're talking about indianness uh, this is actually india um, in this what we have done as i told you 
Indian weather conditions, Indian barley, Himalayan waters. Yes, uh, it's Asian first fill bourbon cask, but it's finished in Indian red wine cask. First time in the history, first time in the history of single malt making, it's had been finished in Indian red wine cask, specifically Cabernet Sauvignon, if you see here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we proudly pronounce it as the uh, Indus route. So uh, if you see here on the back of this, I would just like to unbox this, Ode. And, please, uh, please. If you allow me. So see if, if we generally do what you do, this is again sample. We generally have this nice silk pouch, mm -hmm. uh, kind of uh, to represent India. Uh, we generally do this in our packaging, which gives a whole some look to it. Already stolen some drams out of it. Now, yeah. if you see, oh, there, see the color. The color, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's more uh, reddish. It's more on the, you know, whiny reddish uh, tone, which, uh, which comes out after finishing in the Indian red wine cask. Um, I think you have a sample of, of Yes, a, I do. Uh, Slightly smaller. But oh, thank please. you so much for sending me this. <laughs> I've literally, guys, I've been waiting for what, two weeks, three weeks now to open this bottle. So the time has come. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just pour this. And please. if you love to taste along with me, you are most welcome to do. Oh, I'd love to. So what I've done is I've got the uh, select and the asava. You can see the difference in color right here. Uh, and I've been waiting to compare these two. And I've got the double cask as well. So. Yeah. So, see this again. The color is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, and see the lakes. We have you can see on the glass. It shows that whiskey has been matured for fairly, fairly long time. You know that oiliness, that lakes, you know that comes with the great oh, maturation. Yeah. So, again, the taste profile, the nose. You have that, you know, you can feel that sense of uh, you know, floralness inside that. It's kind of like a dry spice as well. Yes, a hint of spice. Oh, mm. you know, it's more, more on the black cherry, black currants, you know, mm, those kind of black dried fruits, a uh, hint of tobacco as well. Mm -hmm. I love the mouthfeel. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to finishing the rest of this you know, mm. and picking up a full bottle soon. <laughs> so that's why Bode, what we told you more about Indianness and uh, technically as a conscious call, we don't do any PT whiskey because um, we want to retain the sole character of India. We would love to come out with all these expression. Since India doesn't grow peat, we don't generally don't do a PT whiskey. That's why. Mm -hmm. I understand. But this is fabulous. I'm going to spend more time after our conversation going through each of these and I'll put out a post as well, guys. Uh, but another question that I had, Kunal, you know, so we are talking about the Indianness and you're talking about uh, taking Indian single malt to the world. Increasingly over the past decade and a half, we have the three flagship Indian uh, single malt brands and hopefully more to come. So how do you see the category growing? And also, uh, how do you see Rampur growing both uh, globally? And I'm sure the Indian whiskey enthusiasts would love to know more about what we're going to get in India. Lovely. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, they rightly said, uh, we have a long way to go. Uh, all three of us um, are doing a great job. Uh, we should be the um, flag bearers uh, of the Indian single malt going forward. Um, trust me, you know, they are, we are the world, we are categorized into world whiskey. Like what the Japanese single malt did, like Taiwani single malt did, are doing, like the Irish single malt are doing. We as Indian single malt as a category should grow. We should maintain the high standard of our product in terms, be it the liquid, be it the um, packaging, everything. Every every different distillery can do their own um, uh, way of um, expressing out with their expressions. Uh, we have a huge way to go and we have a huge, great future to look at it because when you go out and 
have these tasting results outside of india it's an amazing response beat any of us so mm-hmm. that's what yes in terms of rampur uh, what we're looking at we have got uh, 14 different kind of cask available with us which i can't kind of divulge details with you right now but we are exciting times to come in near future and uh, we'll surprise you every year for sure Mm-hmm. looking forward to it. but what uh, what are we going to see in india in the near future what releases can we expect okay uh, from rampur side we uh, we did uh, rampur select earlier now we are launching uh, rampur double cast next month in delhi so that mm-hmm. will be a first mm-hmm. was a phase wise launch state wise so delhi would be launched first and uh, it will be rampur double cast followed by other states lovely lovely so it sticking to india this is a question that i've been asking for quite a while now uh you've been building your uh, visitor center out at rampur distillery right uh when can we visit when is it going to be open me too so yeah <laughs> uh, so you know the work started everything was about to finish um, but due to this corona virus um, everywhere uh, mm-hmm. it's getting a little more delayed but uh, the wait is about to get over early next year so love to visit myself and call you over there oh i'm looking forward to it you know uh, i've heard great things about the scale of the plant and you know there's so much to see as well so uh, i can't wait to come over uh, but kunal is as always such a pleasure speaking with you and i really enjoyed the asaba Guys, you need to go out and buy this. Uh, absolutely mm-hmm. delicious. Uh, but if you want to get in touch with Kunal or know more about Rampur, I'll put all the links down in uh, the description below. Uh, they're all Instagram links. Go check out uh, Kunal's profile, Rampur, as well as Jaisal Mail uh, Gym. Uh, so, Kunal, any parting words? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, thank you for having uh, me here on the show today. Uh, it was a, indeed mm-hmm. a pleasure. Um, love to do such money more sessions with you and with a new expressions and uh, looking forward to inviting you at our digital visitor center i can't wait until mm-hmm. then cheers again kunal thank you for cheers. being here cheers thank you so guys it was another fantastic session thank you so much uh, to kunal for being here with us and talking all things rampur um Before I go, I have to ask you as always to please like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you know every time we have a new video on here. Until next time, guys. Cheers.